Hi everyone, my name is Matt, also known as the Ucashler, and today we're going to be doing a really cool, fun experiment. So, you probably, well at some point you've done the experiment, you get a rubber balloon and you rub it on your head, uh, and then it sort of gets electrostatically charged and you put it near your hair, and your hair gets pulled and attracted towards it. And I'm going to be doing this experiment today, but I'm going to do it a slightly different way as well, uh, which I think is the even cooler way of actually showing how this experiment works. And then I'm also going to try and explain what's actually going on. I mean, why does this happen? So, first things first, I have my balloon here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to electrostatically charge this balloon. Basically, I'm just going to rub up my head like this. Okay, so now we have this. I'm not sure this worked. Um, but uh, I'm now going to take you over and I'm going to show you what we're going to do for the rest of the experiment. So I have a thin stream of water here coming out of my tap and I have my balloon. So I'm just going to electrostatically charge my balloon again by rubbing it on my head and then I'm going to put it near to the water and you can see the water bending. Now, why is it doing this? Why is the water bending? Well, let's go and find out. So the material that makes up the balloon is made up of atoms and these atoms have positive protons in them and have negative electrons. Now, this is also the same in the water. So the water has protons and neutrons, uh, protons and electrons, positive and negatively charged. Now, what happens is when you get the balloon and you rub it on your head, you're taking the electrons from your hair and you're giving them to the balloon. So then the balloon becomes negatively charged. Before it was neutral charged, the protons and electrons cancel each other out, but now these extra electrons, it's negatively charged. Now, when we put this near a stream of water, the water still has the positive and negative charges in it and it's nice and balanced. What happens is the positively charged, like a magnet, get pulled towards the negative charged balloon. And so if you have the balloon, the negative, the positive charges in the thin stream of water move towards the balloon because they want to be near the negative charged electrons that are in this balloon. And so it begins to bend around. And so this is the same reason why hair gets pulled towards balloons uh, and you can do it with lots of other things. And this is basically why, it's just the build-up of uh, a negative charge on one object and then the charges in the other object get pulled towards it, just as two magnets get pulled towards each other when you have the opposite ends. So this is just what electrostatic is and you do this experiment at home, it's really nice and easy, you just need a balloon, but you do even in water, you can just do it with your own hair if you have long enough hair. Uh, I hope this made sense. Uh, it's a really cool thing to do anyway, I think. It's really nice, simple, fun physics to try and do at home. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.